In this problem, we have to find the area of the surface of revolution that we get when we take this graph and we rotate it about the x-axis. So the formula to find the area of the surface of revolution is s equals 2 pi times the definite integral from a to b of r of x times the square root of 1 plus the derivative of f squared, and then dx. So in all of this, r is the distance from your function to the axis of revolution. In this case, r of x is simply the same as f of x. It's just 2 square root of x. f of x is also 2 square root of x. However, we have to take the derivative, so let's write it as 2x to the 1 half. Taking the derivative, we can put the 1 half in the front, so we have 1 half, and then 2, and then you subtract 1, so 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. These cancel, so you have x to the negative 1 half. The last thing to do is square this function because that's what happens in the formula. So this is x to the negative one half squared. When you multiply this, this is going to give you x to the negative one. Just basically multiply the two and the negative one half. Good stuff. So this is one over x, one over x. All right. So, let's go ahead and plug everything in and see what happens. So, s is equal to, so it's 2 pi, and we're going from 4, and it looks like 9 from the picture, so 4 to 9. r of x is 2 square root of x, and the rest of the stuff is square root 1 plus 1 over x, dx. This integral might look intimidating, uh, but it's actually not too bad. So this is equal to, let's pull out this 2. So we have 4 pi, definite integral from 4 to 9. And we can actually distribute this x. x times 1 is x. And x times 1 over x is just 1. Then we have our square root, and we have our dx. And now we can just make a u substitution to finish. So we'll let u equal x plus 1. So then du is equal to dx. And because this is a definite integral, we're supposed to change our limits. So when x is equal to 4, that's our lower limit of integration, you just take the 4 and plug it in here. So u is equal to 4 plus 1, which is 5. And when x is equal to 9, you take the 9 and plug it in there, so u is 9 plus 1, which is 10. So this becomes 4 pi. So instead of 4 on the bottom, we have a 5, right? That's this one. And then instead of 9 up top, we have a 10. And then square root of u, let's go ahead and write it as u to the 1 half to save us a step so we can go ahead and integrate this. So this is 4 pi. Integrating, we add 1, so it would be 1 half plus 1, so 1 half plus 2 halves, so 3 halves. And when we divide by 3 halves, we really multiply by 2 thirds. And we're going from 5 to 10. So this is 8 thirds pi u to the 3 halves from 5 to 10. So this is 8 thirds pi. Then you plug in the 10. So that'll give us 10 to the 3 halves. Subtract, plug in the 5. That gives us 5 to the 3 halves. So you totally want to have uh, a calculator for this. So let's see. This is 8 over 3 times pi and then times, and then 10 to the 3 halves 
minus 5 to the 3 halves. This should be 171. Problem wants three decimals. 171.258. That would be the area of the surface of revolution that you get when you spin this graph uh, around the x-axis. I hope this video has been helpful.